So you know that feeling when you try to get some gaming done, or you're trying to get some work done, and your network just feels wrong. Something just feels slow, something is sucking that bandwidth, and you need to know what that is. Well, today I'm going to show you how to identify who's on your network, who should be there, and who shouldn't be there, and kick those people off. If you want to know how I do it, let me show you what you need to know. Break it down now, phone. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Leron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks on how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Whoa, before we get going, I just want to be clear. This isn't about kicking off people that you know off the network because you want a faster Fortnite experience or faster PUBG. Leave your parents alone, leave your siblings alone, let them use the network. This is about kicking off the bad guy. This is about kicking off somebody who's sucking up your bandwidth, maybe your neighbor, and you wanna make sure that you get that bandwidth back. You have no idea what they're doing on your network, crypto mining, slowing you down, or streaming, whatever kind of content they're into, and it's all coming to your IP address. So if you're doing anything illegal, well, it's gonna be traced back to you. Let's kick those people off, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first step is to identify who's on your network. So we're gonna do that by using a Wi-Fi analyzer. I like to use an app called Fing, but of course you can use any Wi-Fi analyzer that you like. Fing is great for me because it's free, which is always a bonus. It's available on Apple and it's available on Android. Right, firstly, let's head off to the Fing.com website, F-I-N-G.com. And here you can read about their various solutions. They've got a business solution and a consumer product. We're interested in the consumer product. You can find Fing on your Apple and your Google Play Store. Once you load up the app, you're going to hit the little refresh button, which is actually a scan button, and it's going to scan your network. Whole bunch of stuff comes up. What I do is I hit on filter, go to filter by, and then I choose unrecognized devices. This is going to list only the devices that you don't know what they are. Now, if you hit on any device, it's got a whole bunch of information, but you scroll down to the bottom and we're interested in the MAC address. Write that down. We identified the person that we want to kick off our network. Now what? Well, the next step is the blocking part. That involves going into your router settings. And if you don't know how to do that, there'll be a link up here showing you how to access your Wi-Fi settings. So now that we know how to log into our network, well, let's carry on. Okay, next up, let's go into our router settings. So I put in my IP address of my own router. Yours might be the same or might be different. I hope you saw that other video that I was pointing to. What we're looking for is something called Mac filtering. Sometimes it's under security, sometimes it's under Wi-Fi settings. You need to find Mac filtering on your individual router. Do a quick search on Google, you'll find it. Now, I never enable it. What I normally do is I select the option to deny. And here is where I add in the Mac address. Remember that number that we copied before? That's the number I'm gonna add and I'm gonna click on save. What this will do is that it will deny access to that particular device with that Mac address. Once I'm happy, and it's definitely denied just to that address, I click the button to enable it. It's telling me it's gonna disable WPS, that's fine. And then I click on apply. Now let's go check this particular device. You can see it's been disconnected. If I try to reconnect, well, it's not gonna allow me access. If I enable it back on my computer, and I click on connect, bang, I'm back in again. You gotta keep an eye on your thing every once in a while, just run it when you feel something is a bit slow to make sure that device doesn't come back with a spoofed Mac address. Check out some of these other cool videos down here, all to do with Wi-Fi and faster internet and connectivity. If you like this kind of stuff and you wanna get your network to be better, hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in one of those videos. Let's go.